guys, look at this video. Today, um, no, not day, yesterday, um, the Rangers played again in the Scottish Cup fifth round against Greenock Malty. Um, should have won, well, we did win, but 2 1 was the score. Oh my god, did we struggle? We struggled. Like, this team is in the championship, I think, and we're in the premiership, sitting in third place. We should easily be running 4-0 or something. No, we beat them 2-1. Here's the match day programme. You can see the Scottish Cup and all that stuff. I never had a full collection of them both. Stuff like this, it makes me think, right, guys? Do Rangers need Robin? After performances like that, I don't really know. I mean, I don't really know. Basically, right, so Robin um, got sacked or resigned or left or whatever is going on because Robert's still trying to think he's still in the club. He's not. Um, he left and this is my first game without him against Kevin Morton. Should have been winning. If you ask me, nearly every single Rangers fan across Scotland, we should be winning at 3 0 minimum. Okay, so we know. They scored first. They did just score first, and it was the most flukiest, the most flukiest goal ever you'll see. Basically, right, Clint Hill's trying to head it out, just went boom, right? Came over to Andy Hardy, Andy Hardy's chipped it up, some other guys try to clear it. No, no, it's not. Andy Hardy's chipped it up to the motor player, he's chipped it up to another player, the other player's just followed it outside, but what a goal it was, but. We shouldn't make it seem goals like that. Oh my. And then Kenny Miller goes and scores. An okay goal, it's a deflection. And Martin Bagcom scores that error from the goalkeeper. It was the most shakiest game ever. But Rangers will never, ever look away from this game. Especially after losing the ball. And then doing that, that's just great. But, anyway, we did win the match. But in the last minute, I mean like the last minute the whistle they blew after the shot was took, the mom put a brunner at him. The Rangers goalkeeper smacked it off the bar. Everybody in the stadium basically it was if they scored we would have just went like built on these. It was that bad. And thank God they never I mean we just put them The starting lineup was shit West Waterham started in goals. Clint Hall and Philippe Sandros in centre backs, James Tarvin, and, and then they were most the usual full backs. And then midfield, we had Heinemann, Holt, Halliday, and up front, we had Miller, Mackay, and Wycombe. So that is it, the start line up, 4 3 3, I think. And we were absolutely crap. All I need to say is, should Warburton be in or out? I mean, because Warburton, I mean, it beat 4-1 off our hearts, but we think Warburton, we, we bet Morton 2-1. I know all these guys are going to be saying, oh, grow up, um, you won. But some of you don't understand, if you're a Rangers fan, this is, this is scary. This is very scary. So I went away for the game with a wee teeny... Teeny wee bit of positive in me, but that's it. That's it. The scarf behind the camera. Oh, that's good. This is my cups. The camera wait for the camera wait for um, There's a scarf that I wore in the game. I know Rangers fans still obviously always will be, but. Oh my god. But the good news this morning, Alex McLeese said. 
he will cover Rangers if they need to need him to. So that would that would be good. That'd be very good if he could come because we need a manager like him. So I don't really think this will be an exciting video for you guys. But I just need to tell you that my feelings were for Rangers and look what we need. So see you guys.